turned into a classroom on wheels. Here with me now is Chelsea Carver, the Chief Development Officer with Mile High United Way. Thanks so much for joining us, Chelsea. Um, so we're Thank really you. wondering, where did you guys come up with this idea for a mobile preschool? Sure. So when Mile High United Way goes into a community, we've realized that what's most important is that you honor a community voice and what they say that they need and what will help them the most. And so when we went into the global Ilaria Swansea neighborhood, we started with conversations with moms and said, here's what we think we're seeing. What do you think? And so one of the first things that we heard was that global Ilaria Swansea is a childcare desert, which means there's not enough uh, licensed childcare spaces for the children that exist. Yeah. And so we thought, at least I thought, great, we will do a build a daycare, we'll build a childcare center, and that would be fabulous. But the moms actually looked at us and said, that's not what we want. It's not what we need. What would be great is if childcare came to me, if preschool came to me. And so um, out of that concept and that conversation um, was born this idea of a mobile preschool. That's so neat that you involved the families to make this possible. Um, tell us a little bit more about how the mobile preschool works when it rolls into a neighborhood. Sure. So like you said, it's a fully renovated airport shuttle bus and it is adorable. It has tiny potties, tiny tables, smart boards, but the bus is located at um, a location in the neighborhood that works for parents, that works for kids, that has outdoor space for them to play. Um, and the bus will park. And then when we did the, um, the first ribbon cutting, you know, they, they come in, the little kids with their pigtails and their masks, and they walk in and um, parents and teachers are there to greet them. They get on the bus and then they start learning. It's, 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 truly, a, it's truly a preschool just on wheels. Yeah, taking a look at that video, it is so cute in there, you're right. <laughs> so many cute little features in there for them to learn. Um, heading back into the classroom has been a hot topic. So what safety measures are in place to protect the staff and families from COVID-19? Totally. I mean, I have three kids myself, and so that was of utmost importance to, to United Way and to our partner uh, right on Mobile Education Rome. Um, but we are following all of the safety guidelines and the health guidelines that have been put forth, you know, masks, frequent hand washing. Um, we take the kids outside as much as possible. So I think just, you know, being as cautious as you can while also making sure that kids get a great education. Great, and so for families who are seeing this, how can they get involved? Do they need to sign up beforehand or can they just show up when they see the school come? Oh, totally. So um, families um, sign up and the way that we've connected them in the past is Mile High United Way actually has community advocates. So we have staff members that go door to door when we know that the preschool bus is going to be in the neighborhood and we say, here's what's coming. Do you have kids? Are you interested? So if families have interest, I think they can reach out and we can talk about what availability there is. Um, but yeah, it's been a, it's been a great partnership between the community and, and our community advocates for sure. How often does it come to these neighborhoods? Is it weekly or sure. more a few days a week or? So it is just like a normal preschool. So when, when we park the bus there, it is in that neighborhood for the entire school year. I mean, it obviously moves around, but that's the location that it's at all year. And um, the bus will do just like sort of a normal preschool, Tuesdays and Thursdays, half day, Monday, Wednesdays, half day. And so parents just come back on their, their allotted time to the space and, and get the kids on the bus. That's great. And it sounds like you've had great feedback from families already. Are you guys considering expanding this idea into other neighborhoods or are you still kind of just focusing on this area for right now? Totally. Well, we think that this is an amazing program. And so obviously we would love to replicate this. Mile High United Way believes strongly in the ability for all parents to have choice where their children are educated and how they're educated and that they receive a great education. But also we believe strongly that all kids deserve this. And so um, that's definitely a program that, that we'd love to, to continue to expand. I think the other piece that we hope to continue to expand is in addition to the preschool, Mile High United Way's community advocates are connecting with the families about other services that are available. And so we reach out and say, did you know that this is an option or this is an option? So I think it's, it's not just the bus, but how you really wrap your arms around an entire family and make sure that the family is successful as well. Wow, this is a yeah a great resource for families and 
I love the bus. I love the idea of it all. It looks fun and great for these families in these areas. So thank you so much, Chelsea, for joining us today. We have more information about the Mile High United Way Mobile Preschool on CBSDenver.com. We'll be right back. Get the CBS Denver app, local news, sports, weather, and CBSN Denver. All in one tap. Craig Hospital, empowering lives.